What's up, my THG family? Welcome to Tommy's Homestead Garden. Thank y'all so much for being here. If you are new, I appreciate you being here. If you're returning, I appreciate you as well. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I upload a video. And then also share me out if you can. Like the channel definitely because it helps the channel grow. And leave me some comments down below. So I'm in South Carolina, Gardening Zone 8A. I really wanted to get it right Trying to find some balance in my life But I never really put up a fight Didn't follow my dreams I've been putting off doing my curly kale harvest for a while now. So I'm about to do my curly kale harvest. super duper big i don't know if this variety is supposed to be super big or not but it's big enough so i'm gonna take these in the house let them soak and then i'm gonna bag them in ziploc bags and throw them in the freezer because these will be one less thing in a bin that i have to take unless they start um getting bigger with what's left in the container so I have these soaking. I put some salt in the water. I also put some lemon juice in the water. So if anything's on there, it's coming off. It's coming off. I thought I saw a worm just now. Not sure. Could have been a stem that I cut off because I did cut the stems right here. Um, but first, I'm gonna let them soak in this water then I'm gonna blot them dry a little bit I leave some water on it because I am gonna put them in Ziploc bags and bag them I actually am going to eat some of these for my lunch also you want to make sure you wash your vegetables really well you see those little things at the bottom of my sink i believe those are little worms um let's see if i can get one see that that's what was eating it let's see camera focus in maybe that is a worm see that on my hand now floating in my sink that I'm about to bleach clean um, so once you soak them, and I soak them in really hot water and um, 
the salt and lemon juice. And then I take them and I rinse them under running water and I run my fingers all through the curly kale or anything that I'm doing. And I say that because you'll see the, um, I have a towel down here that I'm placing everything, but you'll see the little holes in your leaves but you don't see the actual thing that's eating them. Not all the time. You don't always see it. So especially with curly kale, you got to go all up in between and do all this. So I do all of that under the running water, but when I have them in the water and that uh, salt and lemon juice and hot water, I'm doing it all like this, just trying to wash it as much as I can up in there and so now I'm about to lay these um, out and let them sit for about maybe 15 minutes and then I'm gonna bag them up and some of them I'm gonna do a salad with I know some people probably like oh you're gonna eat that now <laughs> yeah I am they're clean, they're bug free. I don't want to super dry them. I just don't want them soaking, soaking wet when I bag them for the freezer. And there, see, nothing's in that water. Unlike that other water.